this like crippling anxiety to finish my masters, I'm like, okay, so what's next? Basically move abroad, that's basically what I'm saying. This September, I'm gonna be a student again. I was like going through it at work. I'm thinking about starting the 75 hard, and by seriously thinking, I mean I plan on doing it on Monday. <laughs> I've consumed so much liquor this summer. I'm an avid gardener. Just to add, just to add more. I'm gonna be going on Accutane. My hair is fried. Oh, 94,000 pictures. I'll be having my first giveaway. Huge thank you to everybody that supported me. Hey guys, long time no see. My name is Jasmine, if you're new, welcome to my channel. Get ready with me while I give you guys a little life update. Even though my last video was a life update, I actually have more to update you on. Cause that video was like a month ago, okay? And my life literally moves like that. So we have a lot to catch up on. <laughs> so I guess the first obvious change is my room. I have completely renovated my entire room from what it used to be, from the purple room that you guys are really used to in my other videos. Um, I was just getting tired of the purple. I felt like it was time for a change. And I love how this room came out. Like, I feel like she's very demure, very classy. I love that we added the wainscoting. We ended up painting my bed frame white as well and the stool so that everything would match. Also, I have Luna, like, literally sleeping here right now. Um, but yeah, I got a new bedside table, added some shelves. Like, I'm gonna give you guys an in depth room tour really soon. Actually, I think my next video is gonna be an in-depth room tour. So definitely subscribe to my channel if you wanna know more about that. This has been a really crazy summer, honestly. It's just been really different for me because I haven't been in school and I'm so used to being in school at least part-time during the summer. So not being in school, also not having like three jobs has also been a change for me because this time last year I was working full-time at Centennial, which I am still working at now. Um, I was also working part-time at the hospital and I was working at Cabana as a bottle girl and I was content creating. So I don't know, I, like now I think back and I'm like, I don't even know how I survived that. But yeah, this summer I felt so free. I've had like the time to do the things I want to do. But at the same time, I have like this like crippling anxiety. I mean, I am content creating and working full-time, which is still a lot in itself, but I guess me being used to doing so many things, this feels like like I'm doing nothing, you know? Because of that, obviously, I've been trying to like plan what the next year is gonna look like. Like, I feel like being in school gives you that kind of leeway to be like, you know, like I'm in school, I'm figuring it out. Like, and also like, you know how many years you have left. Oh, like you have time to figure out what you're doing after that and stuff. But like, for me, the time is like now. Now that I finished my master's, I'm like, okay, so what's next? I guess it's kind of like a fear of being stagnant and that's probably because I'm a Capricorn as well. So I'm just like, okay, I always have to be productive. Like I always have to be doing something. And on top of that, like currently I work as a department assistant at Centennial College, which now that I've graduated from my master's, I'm kind of like overqualified for Like I could definitely get like a different job, a higher paying job. I feel like I've kind of checked everything I've wanted off the list for school. Like I've always dreamed of getting my master's and everything. And now that I've done that, I kind of want to just experience life and travel <laughs> so i've been thinking about moving abroad because i know you guys have all been asking when i'm gonna move out and like i am gonna move out eventually but i just feel like it would be a waste for me to move out and live in toronto because one the like the rent is so expensive right now and two because i'm like so blessed that i live with my family and like we don't have any problems and stuff and i can still be here i feel like i should try to explore as much as i can while i have this home base to come back to because if i travel while renting another place and i'm gonna be paying rent to you know what i mean like i'm gonna be paying for the trip and paying for rent like that just doesn't make sense to me i've literally lived like in toronto my entire life and i feel like i need to explore more of who i am and i would learn more about myself as well if i kind of put myself like, I feel like I need to challenge myself almost and put myself in, like, a situation that I have to, like, maneuver myself without knowing that I have the safety net of, like, my parents and my family to fall back on. Even my friends, like, I've had the same friends my whole life. I've made new friends along the way, obviously, but, like, overall, I've been in the same friend group most of my life. Like, I grew up with the same people, and I know that there's just more I want to explore in the world and within myself. If I was to move abroad and do all that, I would want to get a full-time job wherever I move abroad. 
I mean, I would obviously love to rely on content creating alone, but I just, I do make money from content creating, but not enough on a regular basis, like on a like bi-weekly basis. Like I know my full-time job, if I work, I'm getting my bi-weekly paycheck and I can like pay my bills with that. Sometimes a lot of brands take a while to pay and um, they just, and it's just very random. Like you might get like five brand deals one month and the next month you might get one. So to rely on that just seems kind of crazy to me. I would obviously want a job in the field of my master's. I'm thinking about going into teaching. And if you don't know, I've been teaching kind of the last two semesters, but they're just elective courses at Centennial, um, like online asynchronous courses. So I don't really feel like I've gotten a real feel for teaching. Yeah, if I went abroad, I would want to teach um, as my full-time job. And then I could also content create on the side, like just like how I do here, you know? But like I said, I'm, I wouldn't be able to just do one thing at a time. And also, I feel like when I focus on my content creating too much, it becomes kind of like forced. Like when I look at my content creating as a job, I feel like I become robotic almost, and I don't wanna have forced content. So I like having the fact that I'm focusing on something else and then doing this on the side. And I feel like you guys get the most like authentic content if I do it like that as well. So that basically means that this September, I'm gonna be a student again. And I'm gonna be taking a teaching and learning program um, for higher education courses because I really don't want to be teaching kids. I don't really have an interest in that I'd rather teach like adults and I also would like to get like paid more But this program will take me around a year Which isn't too bad because if I am gonna move abroad I really want to focus on like planning and saving within the next year so that I can um, Like I'm fully equipped to do that And I'm not even saying for sure that like I'm gonna move abroad and everything like this is all just kind of things that I've been thinking over the last couple months. So we'll see how the next year goes. Um, I mean, what if like some crazy opportunities come up that like make me want to stay in Canada? Because I know working at like Centennial College as a department assistant, which is my current position, is not what I'm meant to do with my life full, like long term. Like I don't even, I don't really enjoy it that much. The beginning of this year to like March-ish or April, I was like, going through it at work like I was just literally like crying every day like every day I'd come home from work and I'd be like like this is not supposed to be the job for me like I hated I like literally despised getting ready in the morning like it was just really bad it was the environment it was also the fact that I had so much on my plate I was teaching the, that course and I was working as a department assistant and I was and I'm content creating I was still working at the hospital a little bit and I was still a grad school student. So I just had a lot going on and I think I was just getting really overwhelmed at work. But yeah, like I said, it's improved a lot since then. Like I really, like I don't hate going to work anymore. Like I actually like, I don't hate, I don't love it, but like I enjoy it, like kind of in a sense. <laughs> and right now that I work um, a hybrid schedule, it's bearable, you know, like I don't have to go into the office every day. So I'm like, okay, I can live with this. So yeah, that's kind of where my head's at with the whole life thing, if you will. Oh, should I use this pink color? I never use this. I'm seriously thinking about starting the 75 hard. And by seriously thinking, I mean I plan on doing it on Monday. Because <laughs> if I start Monday, then I'll be done November 9th. I'll get through the worst part, then I'll be able to be comfortable for a bit. And then my birthday's in January. And we usually go on a family trip at that time as well. So then I can like, you know, enjoy myself again. But yeah, I really feel like I need to like reset, detox, like everything, start from scratch because like I said, this summer has been very crazy. I feel like I've drank so much alcohol. Like I've consumed so much liquor this summer. It's not okay. I am also an avid gardener. I don't know if I've told you guys that or not, or if you guys have like noticed it in my videos, but yeah, I garden a lot and I've been gardening now for five years without really stopping. Like when I go on trips and stuff um, and I have no access to like weed, I don't smoke obviously. But um, other than that, if I'm like at home and stuff and I have access to it, then I'm smoking. So I really want to take a break and just kind of not even just a tolerance break, like an actual weed break because it's not healthy for me. And I'm getting older and I don't want to be like killing my lungs. So yeah, I'm going to be doing that as well when I do the 75 hard. 
Kind of, kind of. Okay, wait, let me explain myself. So I have like three problems right now. The drinking, the drinking's not really a problem. It's more like when I go out, I drink kind of thing. So I'm just not gonna drink for 75 days, which is fine. Number two is I'm going to stop vaping. So that's my main, so that's my other thing. I need to really stop vaping. I think vaping is worse than smoking weed right now. So I want to cut out vaping first. So the 75 days I won't vape and I won't drink alcohol. Um, weed, I want to get down to like maybe a bedtime spliff. I could see myself progressing to like not smoking weed at all after that, but I need to be realistic because it doesn't make sense for me to say, oh, I'm gonna stop drinking, I'm gonna stop smoking weed, and I'm gonna stop vaping all for 75 days all at once and think that it's gonna work because it's not. Another rule that I'll be adding in is that I am gonna be going on Accutane. I know what you guys are thinking, finally. And honestly, I'm so mad. Like I really, like I really don't want to be going on Accutane. I tried to avoid this as much as I could, literally for the past five years. But it just feels like it's not getting better. Like, okay, it looks pretty good right now. But you guys saw my skin when the video started, so don't even pretend. So yeah, I want to go on Accutane. I feel like doing it while I start the 75 hard will keep me in routine and like just keep me in that headspace as well. And then just to add. <laughs> Just to add more to the gruels, I am also going to be trying to do 75 days of no heat. Because as you guys know, my hair is fried. Like, fried. Okay? Like, these are clippings right now. My natural hair is, like, here. Um, yeah. You can see she's a little crispy. She's also been bleached eight times over the last two years. And heat styled, put in these high tension hairstyles, like tape-ins, clip-ins, ponytail, wig, like I've done everything I feel like. Yeah, so my hair is definitely suffering from that. So I really feel like she just needs a break. And honestly, my hair grew so much during COVID. And I think it was because like, we weren't putting anything in our hair, you know? Like nobody was seeing us, so we didn't have to do anything to our hair. So yeah, I'm just gonna go crazy with like the heatless curls, all the heatless hairstyles, like braiding, braid outs. Um, I'm gonna be doing a lot of claw clips instead of hair ties because I think the hair ties, like, you know, I always want like a slick back with like the tightest hair tie. So I need to just get used to looser hairstyles and just get used to just being free with my hair. And these are all just in addition to the regular 75 hard rules. I'll list all the regular rules on the screen right here. So I'll be doing the 10K steps a day, a day in addition to going to the gym. And if there's a day where I just don't feel like going, it's a yoga day or it's like, it's a active rest day. And the second rule is that you have to take a progress picture every day. So my goal is to do a Stanley, maybe two a day. I'm also gonna be vlogging the whole experience on YouTube. I'll be giving you weekly updates. So next time I come on here, I'll give you guys like the finalized rules that I went with because I'm they're still in the works right now I still have a couple days to think about it. Um, I'm gonna read for a minimum of 10 minutes I think the official rules say that it has to be a non-fiction book But I'm not doing that to myself because I know myself like if I could just read at least 10 minutes a day That would be an improvement not that I don't read now I actually read a lot, but I get into like binge reads like I'll find a series like a court of thrones and roses on her right now like, she is getting eaten up. Like, I'm reading her on the Stairmaster. That's how much I'm addicted. But yeah, that book, uh, that series story, I was obsessed with. So I was on a reading high. And then, like, I'll go on a reading low where it's like, I don't know what to read. Like, I need recommendations. Like, when I was reading Colleen Hoover as well, I was on a reading high. <laughs> but I want to be more consistent with my reading. So, yes, 10 minutes of reading a day. I'm going to try to make my diet very high protein, little carbs. Because... I don't know if you guys noticed, but um, I don't know. On the scale, it doesn't look like I'm gaining, like the numbers don't say I'm gaining weight, but I just feel like I'm kind of like gaining weight. I don't know. Like, I just feel like a year and a half ago, two years ago, I looked more dainty and like my frame was more there. I don't know if I'm, what I'm saying is making sense, but I was super on my gym schedule back then. I kind of am on my gym schedule right now. I'm just not eating healthy. And back then I was eating really healthy. I was eating like my protein, my protein smoothies. I was doing like 
little like high protein little carbs so that's what i'm going to do again and hopefully that will kind of improve my body composition i've been getting kind of like bloated more often so i'm like okay it definitely has to do with what i'm eating i need to like clean my gut out like that kind of thing and those are all things i'll be doing during the challenge like i've made a bunch of a huge to-do list of things i want to like reset like gut cleanse cl clean up my closet like sell clothes wash my makeup brushes waist train deep clean sundays like random like activities as well but i'll get back to that then i'm gonna do make sure i save money um i have like a certain amount on my page but i don't really want to that's kind of personal i don't really want to like share um cook because you guys know i barely cook like i know how to cook kind of but like i need to I need to up my game so we're gonna try to cook three times a week don't hold me to it, okay? <laughs> I'm gonna make new playlists as well because I find for myself, whenever I make a new playlist, it opens up like a new chapter in my life and I feel like it's like a new phase I'm going through. I don't know, but I haven't made a new playlist in like years, so I'm gonna do that definitely. I'm gonna clean up my camera roll. I actually have 100,000 pictures. Or no, it might say nine, oh, 94,000 pictures, okay? So, Clearly, I need to do that as well. Um, I'm going to donate a bunch of clothes. I'm going to go thrifting again. I used to go thrifting all the time. And then for some reason, I just... Well, I know why. I probably didn't have time, but I just stopped. I'm going to try to do play piano, weekly masks. Like, we are bringing my hair health back. You don't understand. Like, by the end of these 75 days, I'm going to be completely... Like, a completely new person. Okay? And one last thing that I have for you guys is I'm going to be having my first giveaway and I'm so excited. This is literally just a huge thank you to everybody that supported me over the last like two years. It's been so crazy. Like I never thought I would have a hundred thousand people that follow me on TikTok, much less like 5,000 on YouTube and then 14,000 on Instagram. Like it actually blows my mind on a daily basis and I feel honored and flattered that you guys look up to me for like motivation and inspiration. Like despite all the beauty shit, like past all that shit. Like when you guys send me those kind of messages, it honestly makes me so happy. Like I sometimes cry, especially for my educational journey, journey and everything. This is gonna be like a kind of back to school giveaway because you guys supported me and congratulated me so much, especially this summer when I graduated um, from my master's. So. Yeah, you don't have to be in school to enter the giveaway. I want to make that very clear. The giveaway is just going to have a bunch of like beauty products like makeup, hair products, skincare, um, like lash clusters. I'm going to put in like the my daily essentials, like my agenda, because I know you guys always want to know how I keep my shit together. My water tumbler, like I'm going to put like a bunch of things and I'm just gonna like basically make a care package for you guys. Alright, so this is what we're working with right now. Please ignore the young and the restless in the back. My mom is watching it. But these are some of the products that we're working with. I have a Too Faced palette here, some perfume from Seven Virtues. I love this scent. The bloom I take on an everyday basis, some biotherm, Lottie London, Korean skincare, milk makeup, it's it cosmetics, lash clusters. Shampoo, conditioner, water tumbler for back to school, lots of like hair tools and makeup brushes like scalp massager, comb, detangling brush, powder puff, selfie mirror lights, and a little makeup case as well. I'll also be adding my agenda I use on an everyday basis and a couple other items. It's going to be one winner and I will announce the winner on September 1st. The rules to enter are going to be, one, you have to be following me on all my platforms, which would be TikTok, Instagram, and YouTube. So make sure you're following me on TikTok and Instagram and you subscribe to my YouTube channel. Two, you tag a friend in the comments of this video. The third rule is going to be just to tell me like either what you're studying or if you're not in school, just why you like watching my videos or the content you want to see from me. Um, any of those things would also help me with giving you guys content as well. So it's a win-win, you know. Um, but yeah, any kind of comment down below. Make sure your friend is tagged. Yeah, you'll be all good to enter the win. So yeah, I'm really excited. I can't wait to share these items with you guys because I have been saving up a lot of different stuff for you. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoy this video. I love you so much. And don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. I'll see you in the next video.